Hi, this is Pendle from Soundust with a quick talk through of the new um, add-on to the Flutter EP. Now, this is the Flutter EP wavetable. This is a slightly different approach, um, which I've been working on for a while, and there are going to be other versions of this coming soon as well, but this for now is uh, an extra bonus that goes with the Flutter EP. What we've done this time is created, morphed, all of the, or most of the samples, most of the sounds from the original Flutter EP, which was kind of 12 multi-sample sets of um, electric piano-y things, and morphed them all together into individual waves, which contain most of those sounds. Um, and I'm kind of treating it like it's a wavetable player this time, so, well, let's just hear what we can do. But what happens? So you can move through the wavetable. 128 positions. It's not completely linear. I mean, it will occasionally click when you do that. It's not completely linear the way it tracks, so that sometimes the keys are going to be slightly different what they're playing, which is part of the intention. Um, anyway, so you can choose your start point in the note in the wavetable. You can choose your loop length. That will also click occasionally. So it goes from a very small loop length. Um, we've also got a kind of um, an extra flutter thing going on here. So you've now got different flutter algorithms, which are basically fade in and out shapes. And that's me wiggling the uh, mod wheel. But you can choose the shape of that now. Uh, we've got everything's kind of piled onto one page as well now. So there's your micro, which is the kind of close-up editing, and this is your macro page. We've, uh, we've got presets for the ADSR volume envelope, which affect these fellas here. Presets for the filters, which affect these fellas here. Uh, overall effects levels, two, uh, two convolution reverbs and a delay. Distortion, transistor, or tube, or off. But the joy of this is you've got uh, over, I think, 60 presets or snapshots. But basically, within each snapshot, shot, you've got so many very quick possibilities. Now another new feature which I haven't mentioned. Uh, in the original Flutter EP, you've got these note triggers. So you play a note, you select, and that only affects the note you've played. So if I wanted then put something on there. These are all BPM synced, obviously. So you can do that kind of thing. We now have a, a trigger all thingamabob, so I can now apply 16ths to every key just in one go. And we have the syncopator, which kind of gives a kind of groove. These are all completely B BPM synced, so they'll kind of lock into your door. Um, the syncopator essentially is kind of playing around with random velocities or changing the velocities of the beat. So you go off, it's just straightforward, everything's the same. As you increase it, adds more variation. Which is rather nice. There's, I'm not saying it's granular, but there's a grainy thing. out the keyboard a bit here. Oh, 
which has its uses. But the 64th thing is quite nice. And what this does, it, when you click on the lower resolutions, it automatically gives you a, a very fast attack. Otherwise, you wouldn't hear the Don thing. Uh. So it's quite nice with fades. Um, we've got some new... Let's turn that off. There you go. few new preset um, reverb convolutions, including Endless. Oh, let's turn it up. Which literally is Endless. It's about 40 seconds long. This is from I back in the old days, back in the old days, when I used to play guitar in band, I had a ancient, well, it wasn't new, it was a new thing then, a Digitech GSP-5, which had the best kind of gnarly reverb i've never ever been able to get anything that i liked as much as that reverb and my machine was broken and i recently got it fixed um which you can actually see online marcus fuller on youtube who basically fixes things and films it and it's great but anyway he fixed it for me and i now have a convolution of the reverb that i so loved and there is nothing like it And it's quite handy for this as well. Uh, but yes, you've got it's a few new convolution. Uh, oops, reverb convolutions. So the micro page, as you may or may not know already, is laid out like a keyboard. That's why there's these kind of darker shapes. These rec represent the flat notes. So that's a C. And basically, every bit of editing you do here only affects the C note. So, for instance, I need to turn these off. Slow pass, but E, and it tells you what you're playing here. Get some, and the same with the reverb. Oh, it's still ringing. <laughs> Let's turn that one off for now. Let's put so I could put lots of on there, but on here. Oh, see, that's all going because this master here is selected, which makes the C channel the daddy without it. So you can have different things going on different notes. You've also obviously got the randomizer, which when everything is selected here, you hit the chaos button and crazy stuff happens. And you can put it back again. If you don't want it to be randomized, you can turn it off. In fact, then what we'll do is put that up to half. That's the filter LFO. And then we'll randomize. So those are all stay the same. So the um, effects are being randomised as well. Oh, and another thing. Let's just go back to Easy Page. Let's get rid of that. We also have now a poly mode, a mono mode. Glide. And a legato. Which means that... Continue playing through the wavetable until it hits the loop end point, which is quite nice. And the glide also works in in poly mode as well. So it's kind of quite synthy as well, really, or it can be. It can be a lot of things. 
let's just have a few presets. I, so there's 50 odd, probably 60 presets, um, snapshots with varying things going on. Uh, for instance, Oh, there's some bass presets now. There's, uh, there's quite a few of those. We've got some uh, just kind of nice presets. Quite um, string machine-y. And we've got some BPM precincts, precincts, presets. But all these things as well are right clickable and MIDI learnable. So you can control all of these in your door as well and have automation going on. I mean, in the audio demo I've made for this, there's a lot of automation going on. There's, you know, very few sounds actually playing. But automation is key. Uh, that possibly will do. But like, you know, I've got my sound. If I change the volume envelope, it's another sound. It's as simple as that or even changing the big knob. So you've got so many options within each um, snapshot stroke preset as well. So there's just, you know, oh, hold on. These fellas down here. Did I mention those? So as well as that's flutter being controlled by the mod wheel, you can also play it yourself. And these are different fade shapes. Some are BPM matched, synced, so they'll actually sync properly, fade out over, you know, a quarter or a sixteenth note. Which is quite handy, you can program those into your sequencer for tremolo stroke gating effects. Okay. I think that'll do for now. Thanks very much. And there will be other fluttery instruments on the way. That's all I'm saying. Thanks a lot. Speak to you soon. Bye.